What's up, it's Chanel? Welcome to a new episode of Vital Vinyl Vlog. Today we're going to be blasting Gut Wrench, Mausoleum to Dwell and Rotten. Fucking so sick. I love this release right here. Fucking awesome. Ultra Skull Splitting Doom Death. Recorded down in Mexico in 2012 and I'm pretty sure this was originally released on Razorback Records not entirely sure off the top of my head but Macabre and Distro took care of this bad boy and it sounds fucking great on cassette and the artwork is just absolutely fucking amazing I love it the mausoleum is named Planet Earth. It's just fucking sick. Awesome stuff here. I reviewed this like last year, I think. Definitely some killer, killer fucking death metal on here. And speaking of killer death metal, this arrived in the mail yesterday and it is some filthy, crushing Texas death metal from one of my favorite death metal bands period but it's so filthy we have to be safe here on this coronavirus shit this recording is so nasty we're gonna have to give it a proper rub down with some you know uh, alcohol wipes I, I guess wet ones whatever you want to call it but these ones you know they're definitely, hopefully, they don't get all the filth off of this bad boy, but they'll do a good job, you know, making it a little safe. But, Church of Disgust, consu consumed by slow putrefaction. Holy shit! <laughs> Three tracks of just some of the best death metal in 2020 so far and I feel like I keep saying that it's the best of 2020 so far and it really feels that way like that's how things have just been progressing on a gnarly fucking level and Maggot Stomp and Church of Disgust it's a perfect marriage even though I really no offense to all the other bands on Maggot Stomp. Church of Disgust is my personal fucking favorite. And I've been waiting for some new Church of Disgust material since the Filth and Disgust Over the East promo tape. This has Imperious Mutilation on it, which I think is going to be on the upcoming full length, but don't quote me on that. Warning for sick fucks only. Church of Disgust have a new song on here, and Cemetery Filth have one as well. This is from a tour, I think it might have been two years ago now. I'm not entirely sure. And I don't know. Oh, uh, Summer 2019. Just super, super sick stuff. I listened to this tape so many fucking times. So, as soon as this arrived, I played it yesterday 11 times. Front to back, because the program repeats on both sides. And this is right up there with the full length. It's fucking amazing stuff right here. And if, you, if you've never heard, you know, veneration of filth you are missing the fuck out church of disgust is just texas death metal at its finest it's filthy fucking punk topsy vibes it's everything that you know you expect from a maggot stomp release but a lot more mature like, I really, really love the lyrical content on here, and just the riffs are fucking sick. 
The vocal delivery is amazing. Everything about it, the drum sound, the bass tone, consumed by slow putrefaction is just fucking amazing. And the title track clocks in at 3 minutes and 48 seconds. Drowned in Eldrick Slime, 3 minutes and 11 seconds. And Burst Coffin at 4 minutes and 2 seconds make up this bad boy. Killer, killer fucking shit here. And hails to nightmare imagery for this amazing cover design. It's fuck. Look at that thing. It's so goddamn sick. That's another thing about Church of Disgust. They always have awesome artwork. Like on the Filth and Disgust over the East tape. Like that's so goddamn good. And I have the poster hanging up for Veneration of Filth, but it's just so fucking sick. I love it. Future Matt is the fucking man, and he did a really good job here on Veneration of Filth. And this is like really, really like at times kind of swampy sounding death metal, but very, very much routed in the world of Punk Topsy. If you don't know what Punk Topsy is, it's not too hard to figure it out. It's autopsy style death metal with punk influences. It's fucking sick. There's a lot of bands, especially on Sunken Tomb Records. That's kind of like their fucking thing. Like, you know how Maggot Stomp, it's, you know, the knuckle dragging stuff and whatnot. Sunken Tomb, it's all about fucking the punk topsy vibes and... On Consumed by Slow Putrefaction, Church of Disgust just absolutely nailed, nailed their fucking sound on here. It's so goddamn good. The replay value is... I really wish that, you know, the tapes came out first and then the 7-inch. But it, it's all good. I, I really need to get the 7-inch now because I'm definitely going to wear this tape to the fucking bone. It is so fucking good. And just hails to Dustin James, man. I love his vocals. And his guitar works great. So is Josh's. Travis on bass. Dwayne on drums. Just super, super fucking dope. And this is actually recorded by Dwayne Allen at Innsmouth Storage. And it's fucking sick because this was mixed and mastered at Curse Studios in Finland by Jani Lokas. Fucking... Oh, so good. I know a lot of you got this in the mail as well yesterday. You know how fucking sick this is. And if you haven't read the lyrics yet, there's a little bit of Lovecraft and some Drowned in Eldritch Slime. Obviously, you know, you got your fucking... I'm not even gonna ruin the lyrical content here because it's one of my favorite things about Church of Disgust. It's not just like, you know kind of not well thought out. It's very, very, like, a big part of the band's sound and whatnot, because you can definitely, like, sing along to this the more you go, because on, like, my third listen, I started, like, following along with the lyric sheet, and I felt like such a nerd, because I'm, like, following along, singing, and... I'm having a good fucking time listening to some death fucking metal from the Lone Star State, courtesy of Church of Disgust. This is consumed by slow putrefaction, courtesy of Maggot Stomp. Definitely at the moment, 
Besides the full length reissue of Veneration of Filth, this is my favorite Maggot Stomp release. Mortal Wound is right there next to it. But this is just... Wow. That's all I can fucking say is... Wow. No hype. None of that shit. Church of Disgust have earned their dues when it comes to DIY touring and just busting their fucking ass to be where they're at right now. And I feel like this EP or demo, whatever you want to call it, is on top of the Maggot Stomp ladder, in my personal opinion. I know Sansa Sugarbog is their number one, like, seller. It just makes... It, it, I don't know if that's true or not. I mean, it probably has to be. I would assume, you know. But I do have the LP coming finally! Finally! Fucking thank you, Aaron, man. You are awesome. Because they also had extra copies of Disembowel, Echoes of Terror. I think that's the name of the full length. But I can't wait for that to arrive. That's getting ready to be shipped out. I don't know why it wasn't all shipped together, but it's all gravy. I'm not complaining. But uh, I just want to make sure I got that right. Because here's a whole list of official Maggot Stomp releases. And yeah, Disembowel Echoes of Terror. Fucking sick. Alright, they are doing an LP. Fuck yeah. Awesome. Alright, that answers my question about that. I was like wondering. I was like, I know they said they were going to do an LP, but I didn't hear anything about it. It's kind of the same with this. I didn't see anything about a 7-inch, but I knew that it was planned. So I was like, oh, I guess, you know, maybe something happened and they weren't doing the 7-inch. So I snagged a tape and then like a week later, the 7-inch pre-order popped up and I was like, ah, oh, fuck. But I'm so glad to have this on cassette. I would love to have the 7-inch as well. But for right now, I'm going to be consumed by slow putrefaction with every single listen on here. Because, seriously, I'm not fucking around when I'm saying the replay value on here is awesome. I just can't get enough of this. It's so fucking dialed. It's awesome. So hails to Dustin and company. This is... One of those releases that really has me stoked for a new full length from Church of Disgust. But in the meantime, Consumed by Slow Putrefaction completely has my unadulterated attention with heavy punk topsy, knuckle dragging, Texas death fucking metal of the filthy variety so goddamn crushing like seriously the guitar tone on here just, just fucking buy if there is still copies of this available buy it if you have money buy it if you don't have money do what you gotta do to listen to it because this right here is a perfect example of death fucking metal. Church of Disgust consumed by Slow Putrefaction on Maggot Stomp Records. Fucking A plus, top shelf, 10 out of 10, death metal. From the Lone Star State, amazing. Again, it's so fucking filthy, you just have to clean it. And speaking of filthy, we were blasting Gut Wrench Mausoleum to Dwell and Rot in. Awesome, awesome release right here. I love it. I'm a fan of Varos as well, which uh, Uriel went on to do after Gut Wrench. And they're fucking sick. 
hailing from Romania. Good stuff, definitely. Check, I did a review of the four-way split a couple days ago, but yeah. Gut Wrench, I, uh, that's my favorite project Uriel is in. He's in a ton of fucking bands, but I love this release the most right here. Mausoleum to Dwell and Rotten. Fuck yeah. And as always, thanks for watching, you fucking rule. Hey.